born free and equal in dignity and rights. Human rights are the rights inherent to all human beings, irrespective of our nationality, place of residence, sex, national or ethnic origin, color, religion, language, or any other status. Human rights are the great ethical yardstick that is used to measure a government's treatment of its people. These rights enable us to interconnect with each other in a shared set of rights and responsibilities. Abuses by the police and security forces, including extrajudicial killings, torture and rape, as well as corruption at all levels of government, are some of the human right problems in it. The world's largest democracy has also been dodged by separatist violence, life-threatening prison conditions, sex trafficking of children, and an atmosphere of impunity resulting from the overburdened judicial system. It is unfortunate that violation of human rights still continues in various parts of our country. Various sections of its population are still deprived of the basic necessities of life like food, shelter and security of life. Human rights empower individuals and also provide solutions to specific problems. Thus, it is vital that you, me and people everywhere strive to understand it and work for its better. This will surely help each one of us to live in a society we all want to live. Educate her for a literate generation. Empower her for a powerful nation. Hillary Clinton once said, that if women are healthy and educated, their families will flourish. If women are free from violence, their families will flourish. And once families flourish, the community and nation does. So hence, it is the prime duty of every government to give rights to women, to protect their rights. For example, let's take the Indian scenario. Stalking is such a, such a basic thing here now. Every woman, every girl faces stalking. But very few know that the person held for stalking is liable for three years of imprisonment. And for subsequent offense, he's liable for five years of imprisonment along with fine. So these are certain things which empower the woman. And every government should have certain policies for women. Thank you. Police atrocities in journal means the harmful means or methods that are used by police to gain or obtain information from the accused. In today's world, it has emerged as a major problem towards the human rights all over the world. There has been uh, increasing alarm. Uh, there has been increase in the number of cases that has affected the human dignity all over the world by police, especially in case of custody. Torture has been evolved as the only way to gain or obtain any materialistic information or confession from the accused. Thereby, I leave you with the question that how can this cruel game of police can be stopped or what else a judiciary can do in a democracy? Thank you. the current scenario of Indian tribes. India is a land of diverse people and culture. Each state of India has its own heritage and traditions and culture. Due to the presence of these tribes, India has received a lot of flavors in heritage. And these are that tribes which are called the treasure of India and they are not valued. The major population of Indian tribes are present in the seven sister states of India which include Nagaland, Assam, Manipur, and etc. These tribes are uh, deprived of their basic rights. They go through sexual assaults, rights, they don't get proper education, and so many more problems which they are facing in today's time. So, what is the government doing about it? The Ministry of Tribal Affairs of India has initiated a lot of laws for their well-being, but are they implemented? This is the question which is asked in today's contemporary India.
policing with regard with women's human rights. It is very, in, it is impossible to make the welfare in the world unless and until the condition of the women are being improved in the society. In fact, in every society, moral policing is basically the concept that people. There is a group of people in the society which keep policing the morality level in the society, especially for women. Moral policing is important, not important for women actually. It's important for the patriarchal society. Until and unless this moral policing is properly done for the patriarchal society, the condition and the state of women is not going to improve. The only point where we lack is the implementation. Laws have been made and we make wonderful laws, wonderful legislations have been made by our government and the whole, the whole of the government in the world. The only issue where we lack is the implementation. Once the implementation is been done, we'll achieve the equal status of women and human rights of women will be safeguarded. Thank you. Women and girls are facing so much of discrimination when it comes to equality. In towards, towards the wage gaps, the woman, do, in spite of doing equal work, does not get the equal pay. Why? Because she is a woman. When it comes to the brutal strength, the man has always been superior to her. But when it comes to the moral strength, the woman has immeasurably been stronger because she has always been so much of self-sacrificing and more courageous than the man. But when a man, uh, when a woman is raped, she is seen as a criminal. Why? She did, not, she did not do anything. It was not her fault. It is her wish to wear short clothes. It is her wish to go out at night. Nobody is given the right to question her. But still, when she is raped, no man is ready to even talk to her. Why? Because she is a woman. In spite of so, many, so much of cases and demonstration coming towards us, we do not take, so, uh, we, we do not take measures to eliminate this. Child trafficking, according to UNICEF, is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, method of uh, trafficking children from outside the country or uh, within the country uh, for the purpose of exploitation, unnecessarily for the uh, children who are under 18, uh, for the people who are under 18. Several laws such as Ch uh, Child Prevention Act <coughs> 2012 or POCSO Act 2012, which is prevention of child uh, for sexual uh, exploitation, is made for uh, for the uh, betterment of children, but un. Uh, un Fortunately, we are not getting that those benefits. It is done by forcing a person or by fraud, by misappropriation or and it is done just to take the payment and to sell the person ahead. Trafficking in India is not a recent activity. It is there from so many years. Even our kings or the rulers, they have used these practices. Justice delayed is justice denied. As we all know, it's a legal maxim which is very popular. Justice delayed is justice denied, which means the redress, legal redress, is available for a person who has some injury, but it is not provided on time. That means it is equivalent to the people. Uh, it is equivalent that it is available or not. Then uh, there are various natures of cases which are pending in the court, like civil cases, criminal cases, and constitutional cases which are there for decades and have been unsolved or unsolved. Uh, there are a uh, number of problems which the public is facing because of this and uh, it is uh, very clear that the prime focus of the lawmaker should be on the uh, dissolution of the cases by uh, increasing the number of judges in the court and uh, establishing fast court cases. Several, uh, several times, capital punishment is uh, termed as, as it is a violation to human rights, as the right to life of our Indian Constitution, Article 21, which states, uh, is violated. But according to me, it's uh, according to me, I don't think so that it's uh, been violated. 
because if someone is threatening uh, any other person's life then he do, don't deserve to be according to me uh, capital punishment is is not taken it should not be taken as a violation to human right Child labor has emerged as one of the most important and vibrant issues in the contemporary human right discussions. They have violated many human rights in different manner, such as when children work, uh, children are forced to work in inhuman and unhealthy conditions, thereby jeopardizing their health. Working for long hours without rest, when they are forced to work in bounded labor, forced labor, and slavery, when they are sexually and physically abused by their employers. The National Human Rights Commission or the NHRC of India concentrates on ending the problem of child labor. As according to my views, now government should think about stopping the child labor and sending those children to school and giving them free educations and a proper jobs to their parents so that they can support their country. And from the from developing country, our country counts in a developed country. Sexual relations in the Indian society is looked as an inferior thought and our Indian, woman, Indian married women between the age of 15 to 49 years of age have been brutally beaten up and in every 22 minutes a rape case is registered in, uh, in our country. Marital rape is one of, the, uh, one of the issue on which the Indian constitution has been remained silent. 27 countries like US, UK, France have been, uh, have been criminalized this offense but still India and other 127 countries has not been criminalized this offense as a criminal activity. One of the section which provides section uh, 375 of IPC that provide that sexual intercourse by a man with his own wife not being the age of 15 years is not taken as a rape which tends to be a preventive remedy for those people who are the accused of the rape. So the government has to be understand that any sex, any, fo any sex with a force is a rape. Ragging is the most damaging form of interaction of the seniors with the juniors in the school or in the colleges and uh, in the colleges. It is not. It is similar to hazing, but it is not the same as hazing as in USA, as it is not initiated. Most of the deputed colleges in India have a wistful history of ragging. So, what can we do? How can we change this by implementing new laws or putting the guilty behind behind the bars? This is not the only solution. So, the efforts to prevent ragging should include ongoing processes and the. Uh, concept of primary, secondary and tertiary preventions. According to the implementation of the UCG, a uh, university has to report an FIR to the police within the 24 hours of uh, 24 hours of uh, finding a person guilty of ragging. The government should take strict preventive acts to change the mindset of the seniors in context to the juniors so that uh, the juniors do not have any such mindset that yes, we are being ragged or we are being tortured by the seniors. Civiline is a young person or a person who is not yet old enough to be legally considered as an adult. The age of Jubilee, according to the Jubilee Justice Act 2000, is 16 years. Jubilee Court is a court that has special jurisdiction over delinquent and dependent children. Juvenile courts do not have the authority to order punishment. Instead, uh, they respond to juvenile misconduct or misfor misfortunate by ordering rehabilitation uh, measures or assistance from the government uh, agencies. <laughs>